Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today I want to quickly talk about this impending link skill level update as well as some changes to existing links and all that good stuff that's coming with update 4.11.0 uh, for JP in the near future. And people in the Dokkan community have been just going crazy over this, freaking out about, you know, how big of a change this is going to be. And I tend to agree, man. This seems like a very significant feature that's going to be added to the game that is going to have some very large, you know, long-term implications, right? It kind of feels like maybe not as big of a deal as the hidden potential system, but kind of in that you know, in that space, right? So anyways, we don't have too many details as far as like specifically how we're going to be able to level up each individual character's links or, you know, what kind of materials we need or what the actual effects of leveling up a link is actually going to be, right? Like, is it going to allow us to get bigger attack boosts or more key for each link or something like that? Like right now, it's all up in the air. It's all a big question mark. And uh, this stuff can get pretty confusing, so in today's video, I kind of just want to keep it fairly service level, keep it very simple, and just let you guys know that uh, we are, once the update drops at least, we are going to be able to increase the level of individual links for each of our units. So let's take, I don't know, LR Gogeta, for example, right? For LR Gogeta, you'll be able to level up his Fuse Fighter Link, or in a Flash, Warrior Gods. Actually, you know what, I don't really know how that would work for transformations, right? Like for transforming units that have different links, are you going to be able to, or do you have to level up the links for both the pre-transform state as well as the post-transform state, or something like that? Either way though, the point is, the, the links for different characters are going to have levels now starting at level 1 and then up to a certain limit, maybe level 5, maybe level 10. And uh, what I'm really hoping right now is that this is not going to be like a pay to play, you know, pay to win feature like some other games have implemented where you have to, I don't know, summon for materials or, you know, somehow like pay essentially for the things you need to level up the links. And I really hope that the actual changes to the links is not like something super crazy where like if you aren't i mean i guess it doesn't make that much of a difference because i was gonna say you know if you aren't like leveling up the links they are not competitive but with dokkan there's not really a competitive aspect to the game so i guess it's not a huge difference unless they're also thinking of implementing like a pvp feature in the future which uh i mean i'm not really sure how i feel about that i would be interested it sounds cool but it would have to be done very carefully. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Uh, essentially, that's happening, guys. We are getting a link level feature. We'll be able to level up the links for different characters. And uh, also, like I said in the beginning of this video, we are going to be getting some changes, some adjustments to existing links as far as their effects go. Now, let's pop over to this uh, list of all the links that currently exist in the game. We're on DBZ Space, of course. And uh, as you can see, man, there are a ton of links in this game, and I would say most of them are pretty decent. Like, most of them can just stay as they are, but there are definitely a few specific ones that I want to see definitely get changed. All right, the first one that came to mind as soon as I saw this was this link right here, Flea. Okay, Flea, I gotta say, is the worst link in the entire game. All right, I actually made a video, um, I think it was about two years ago, like when my channel was fairly new. And I did a list of like top 5, top 10 worst links in the game. And Flea was number 1. Because the effect for Flea is key plus 1 when HP is 30% or below. Take that in. Key plus 1 when HP is 30% or below. Yo, there's all these links out there, right? With like key plus 2, key plus 3. And a bunch of other links just with like key plus 1. Which is not the greatest, but it's not bad, right? It's just one key but this link flea requires you to satisfy a ridiculous hp requirement of being below 30 percent hp so basically you're almost dead and then you only get key plus one right if this was like attack plus 30 percent or attack and defense plus 20 percent and key plus one or something like that when below 30 percent hp i'll be like okay that's fine right because it's a really good boost you know even then it wouldn't be that good because we do have big bad bosses but, uh, you know, if it was like something like 30% attack and defense or like key plus 5 or something like that, I'd be like, okay, makes sense. It's a huge boost and it's supposed to only be there 
when you're almost dead. But this is just ridiculous, man. This is just ridiculous. Q plus one when HP is 30 percent or below. Let me see who actually has this link. One sec. Okay, so flee. The pool is garbage. Yeah, the only unit that's decent. I mean, yeah, he's actually very good. But the only good unit here is this LR cell, right? The tech first form cell. And otherwise, you're not even going to be running most of these units, man. I mean, there's the mighty mask, but this is the TUR form. You're going to be running him in his LR form. So, I mean, this is terrible, right? Like, Flea needs to be changed, all right? Flea is the first priority for Bandai when this update comes out. And then aside from that, another one that I've always wanted to see changed is... Let's see if I can find it here. Uh... One sec, guys. It's down here somewhere. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go. Legendary power. Okay, legendary power is the link that every single LR unit in the game has. And it only gives 5,000 attack when super attack is launched. All right, this is... I mean, I guess at the time it came out, it was good, right? Like 5,000 attack was a pretty significant boost back then. But nowadays, I would like to see this become a 10% attack boost at the minimum. I mean, any higher would be actually kind of broken. So maybe 10%, I think 10% is fine. All right, so legendary power, 10% attack boost would be great. And then as far as like other links that I wanna see changed, obviously these older ones that only give these like very tiny flat boosts, like 700 attack, you know, 300 attack more than meets the eye, 300 attack, uh, like 500 defense, all that stuff, these flat boosts that like might as well just not exist. Um, I want to see those changed, of course, so I think they will actually rework these to be like 5%, 10% attack boost or 5%, 10% uh, defense boost to actually make them, you know, somewhat relevant, right? And uh, same thing, of course, with other flat boosts like Kamehameha, uh, like this one right here, Kamehameha, or Freeze's Army, Students, Tough as Nails, all that stuff. I want to see them become percentages because flat boosts, I mean, you know, in today's meta, they just really don't have that much of an impact anymore, right? So uh, yeah, I'm glad they're going back and finally reworking some of these uh, links. I mean, I don't blame them for some of these like trash links, aside from Fleet. Like Fleet was just ridiculous, but links like that were developed in a time when maybe 200 attack was very significant or at least made a difference. And uh, nowadays, you know, given how long the game's been out for, we're on our fifth anniversary on Global, coming up on the sixth anniversary on JP, uh, it's time to go back and actually, you know, give these links some new life. So I'm excited for that. Let me know in the comments down below which links you guys would like to see changed and what kind of effects you would like to see them have after the change. All right. So uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much today's video. I know I only went very surface level with the whole link skill levels thing, but I think right now, since we don't have too much information about how all this stuff works, it's better just to keep the explanation simple so that people don't get too confused. And then once we have the full details after the update drops, I'll make another video, you know, going into the specific details of how all this stuff works. But there is an explanation uh, in the in-game news on JP that talks about how the different level links for different characters are going to interact with each other. Um, essentially, when two units link with each other and have the same link, right? They will get the effect of their own link level. So let's say, for example, uh, Piccolo has a level six link and then Lord Slug has a level one link. Even if it's the same link, Piccolo will get the level six effect, whereas Lord Slug will get the level one effect because his link is only level one. So um, that's as deep as I want to get into it right now. Like I said, I will give you guys more details once the full details come out and we have a full picture of what this whole system looks like. For now, just stay tuned for the actual update and get excited for this, you know, link skill level feature that, as I said, I feel like is one of the biggest changes coming to the game um, that we've seen in a long time. Could be as significant as the hidden potential system, depending on, you know, how things actually work out. But uh, until next time, that's all I gotta say guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys learned something. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. 
I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.